Hey everybody, this is Roberto Blake of robertoblake.com helping you create something awesome today. So today we're going to talk about adaptive web design. I know that you may have heard of a web design that is responsive, but adaptive web design is something different entirely. They're both based on the idea of making mobile friendly websites, but they're two completely different approaches to it. Now you may or may not have seen my video on responsive web design, but I'll just give you a brief idea of what it is. Responsive web design is a web design where the website changes based on your mobile device without changing the features. It just repositions and styles things differently and moves them around. When you have an adaptive web design, it's very different. It actually is taking you to a specific experience designed only for that device. So you might end up going from uh, www.whatever.com to m.whatever.com specifically to be the mobile version of the website. So it's a completely different experience. It may have more features, it may have less features, it might have some features that are very specific to the mobile device that you're using, and that is the difference. Adaptive web design is the oldest version of how we dealt with getting a specific website experience for phones, and it goes back years and years and years. Whereas responsive web design is a more recent development, and I'd say the last five to six years or so versus adaptive is well over 10 years we've been doing this. So, you know, that's what the primary differences are. There's also a difference in the execution. When you have an adaptive web design, it's usually a redirect. So it's going to a completely separate page or even a whole new domain or website. Uh, this is why the extension .mobi used to be popular. Instead of going to a .com, you'd go to a .mobi and be a completely different website for the mobile users. So it, it's things like that. And these redirects can be done with JavaScript, or they could be done with PHP code on the back end, or something on the server side. There's a lot of different ways that it's done, and I don't think that one of them is more right than wrong. I think that responsive can be good for certain things. I think that adaptive could be good for other things. I have to tackle a video where I talk about both of them and what the the pros and cons to each are. But uh, I think that you probably by now have a general sense of what adaptive web design is and how it differs from responsive design. But if you still have questions, I do have a, a more detailed description that's more technical in the description section. And if you have questions, you can obviously leave them in the comments. And I'll try and answer as many of them as I can. Anyway, like this video if you like it. Don't forget to subscribe. Check out the other awesome content on the channel. As always, guys, thanks so much for watching. And don't forget, create something awesome today.